Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I'm going to be giving you a little motion graphics lesson today on how to get a nuclear blast radius. And because I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes, the example footage we're going to use today is this map of Middle Earth. We're going to bomb Rohan. This is a super easy, simple trick that I think it's really important for any motion graphic artist to learn. And before we get into this nuclear goodness, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Let's begin. So After Effects has an amazing plug called circle. It's right here under generate. Generate plugins need to be put on a solid layer. So we're going to come up to layer, new, and solid. I'm going to name this blast. So, so here we have this solid and if we come up to our effects and presets panel and drag the effect circle onto it, guess what? You get a circle. And over here in the controls panel you can like change the radius, but the real magic is under this part here where it says edge, you can change it to thickness. So you're just animating this um, little circle here. I'm gonna get rid of Middle Earth for now so we can focus on our little guy. So first things first, let's see how big we want our radius to go. So like maybe right here. And we're gonna hit, hit a keyframe for radius. Hit U to drop down um, your layer so you can see the keyframe. We'll go back a few seconds and then just type in zero. So over time, this is what your circle looks like. We're gonna select our keyframes and easy ease them and we're gonna start it like this we're gonna grab the beginning of our curve and bring it up top and then on our bottom curve we're gonna bring it like this so it'll come out fast and then slow down BAM! it looks really awesome right but we can fine-tune it a little more so it doesn't always need to start like this ring and under circle here you see this effect uh, thickness this is woo, woo, woo. we can play around with the thickness so what we're gonna do is right here in the beginning let's um, create this keyframe for thickness, but we're gonna drag it to um, the end. So it will be this thick by the end of it. In fact, I will make the thickness a little smaller. So when we go back to the beginning, like right here, we'll crank the thickness way up, bam. So as it explodes, it's like the blast radius gets smaller. Do you see what I'm saying? Bam. And so we're going to easy ease this as well, and we're going to try and follow a similar curve structure. So we're gonna make the curve kind of like this. So when it starts, when the explosion starts, it's like a full circle, but then over time it gets small. Do you see like how the edge of this slowly gets skinnier as we go out? Bam. I love Love that I actually might drag that out to be a little longer and so now we've got this cool little circle thing going on here you basically will play around with the curves curves until you're like happy with how this this whole thing looks and maybe we want the explosion to happen faster so we'll just we'll bring this all together like this boom it's very nice now if we open up Middle Earth and let's just put Rohan right here let me add a blur map to this really quick so we can really just focus on Rohan fun fact if you add a mask like this and you have an effect like camera lens blur all you have to do is drop down camera lens blur and click on this compositing options uh, select your mask and now your blur or whatever effect you want will only be affecting your mask and so I'm gonna subtract this mask because I just want to focus on Rohan <laughs> so this might not look like much right now but let's change our circle to red boom it's still not as magical as I would want it but this is just the outer ring of our explosion so we can actually duplicate our little circle here we'll offset it a few seconds so one explosion happens right after the other but I'm going to set this one to none so it's just a circle and I'm going to just make the end scale so I'm just gonna scale it up kind of like this so we'll have a little blast you see that this little blast will shoot out a bigger blast Boo. BAM that looks really cool, but obviously a little too slow. So we're just gonna make this faster. Bam, that looks so good. Okay, and um, maybe we'll bring our circle in the middle down a little bit. So after it explodes, our circle gets small. Bam, that looks really, really good. Boom, it's like a concussive, concussive grenade. Doof. Okay, this looks so good. I'm so sorry, this just looks amazing. Boom. And now from here, you can kind of play around with all these different types of keyframes um, and play around with the styling. Like maybe you want multiple rings to come out of this. Like maybe this is literally like sonar, you know? <laughs> and then for a final touch, let's pre-compose these and name it explosion. And what we can do is come up to effects and presets and type in deep glow. 
am. And so now we have a pretty crazy looking explosion, but I don't need the radius to be this big. And what we can do to make this um, blend in with our map a little better is we can, as we can set it to add. So now you can see that uh, you can kind of see your map underneath of your explosion. I'm gonna make this initial bomb. I want this to be way faster. And in a real explosion, everything is way, way bright in the beginning. So what I'm actually gonna do is as this first circle comes out, I'm gonna keyframe this red to actually come on over time. So before the red, I'm gonna change the color to white. Bam! And actually maybe in the middle before it turns red, we can change the color to like orange, maybe like a bright yellow. So it's like, bam. And if we go back, Oh, do you see that? Bam! And so now, like, we get this bright white circle that's shooting out the, the redness. I just set it to 15 frames per second because I like this kind of choppy look. And I just think this looks really freaking cool. And so it's up to your discretion to keep compositing after this. This is basically the effect. But something I like to do is like as the um, effect is going out like this, maybe I can add like a tint effect to our map and I will map it to like something like this, like red. That like, that looks really cool. And if we grab our ellipse tool, we can isolate this red to only happen underneath of our explosion. And so remember earlier, if we hit E um, to drop down our effects, we can come down here to compositing options and just add this to mask two. So this tint effect is only happening where this mask is. And then if we just create a keyframe for mask two, we can keyframe this to only follow where the mask is. So we will just keep going down until um, our red is only coming out from where our explosion is. And then uh, when it's just this white ball, I'll just keyframe this to be gone. So it'll pop up right after this. Ooh, that looks so good. Rohan is quivering. And if we watch that back, oh, that is so cool. I don't know why I'm mind blown that this looks so cool. Like I literally am sitting here teaching you how to do it. Bam! My last tip here is like how you turn anything like this incredibly cinematic. So let me select everything in my composition and pre-compose it. I'm gonna name it Map Explosion. Bam, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a 3D layer. And if I um, layer new and add a camera, I'll add like 24 millimeter. I'll change this to two views so we can see what our camera is seeing. And so now we can change the angle of this to kind of be flat. Basically, once you add a 3D camera, you can then create some incredible um, like depth animations. So now I can like animate my camera to like fly around this position here. So let me put a position keyframe on my camera and then like move it over here like this. So when our explosion goes off, we get this like incredible like uh, panning emotion. I mean, look, that's literally fucking incredible. Are you kidding me? Rohan is quivering. And so this is like how you make an incredible um, nuke map animation. I'm literally obsessed with this. I think it looks so good. All right, and that's how you freaking make these. I hope everyone goes and makes a motion graphics video just because they've learned this trick. And now that I've taught you a trick that's gonna get you paid work as a motion graphics artist, please, Support me by supporting my sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you gotta do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you wanna sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with 
with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible, the options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today, and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.